Where, oh, uh, shit. <laughs> where, nice uh, cut. <laughs> Admiral, I think his name is Vice Admiral Grip of uh, the Archon's Grip. Oh, that's right. I remember, remember that guy. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember that guy. Yep. Yeah. Wrong delivery. Yep. Vice Admiral Grip is like, <clears throat> Gentlemen, I'll be taking over your mission briefing for the day. There's been a situation on the planet, and I'm being recalled back to active duty. As or you know, going the information you gathered for us on one of your previous missions, and the fact that you eliminated one of the rebel leaders on another of your missions, has stepped up the rebels' timetable. That, coupled with events throughout the sector, have led the rebels to begin a full-scale assault on the capital. They start, like, sending you guys information on your... Space tablets. Does anyone in the party have a compad? Yes. Oh yeah, I, we all do. We all do. We yeah, all do. You have a fuck. <laughs> That's right. You guys Draft have like a dozen extra compads. Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. We we just take compads from everyone that dies because <laughs> we're like Jefferson. We're gonna need these because we're gonna get more employees eventually. We I'm want them go to gotta pass them out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take one of those compads. At this yeah. Oh, you're given one by Jefferson, we, along with your, uh, along with your Archon Group pin. That you're instructed to put on your uniform when we hire you, you're given a compad. I thought you guys. I thought there wasn't a pin. I thought you guys were buying like leather armor for. Everybody. We are, but but we just hired him. We haven't had the ah, chance to get him the leather armor yet, so we have a a, a pin for the interim. But the also arm. on the compad, there's a sticky note that tells you how to change the default language setting on it. Out of French, <laughs> yes. Out, but he's out of French. French. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I'm pretty sure I know how to work this fucking thing. <laughs> really? Could you tell me? Because none of these guys know how to... I have explained oh. this to you like 90 times, Maker. Jefferson, <laughs> you need to understand that every time I turn it off, it resets. And I never fucking remember how to do it. Have I you tried just hitting it with a hammer? So the Admiral clears his throat and is like, Gentlemen, so the, <clears throat> the battle on the capital city... Yes, all right. Uh, uh, yeah. Go yeah, on, yeah. continue. So yeah. he uh, starts pulling up, like, news reports. There's, like, holograms just floating in the air around him, minority report style. He's like, <clears throat> as you might know, it's recently come to light that uh, the Koru sector, the AI Thorn Thistle, has initiated a complete blockade of the southern half of the sector. Since that time... The Federal Society government in the southern half of the sector has been unable to breach the blockade, cutting off all trade. Only ships capable of dropping into Palomero and then jumping further on have been able to breach this blockade, requiring advanced technology. So, for now, we're basically cut off. And, uh, you know, he brings up, like, news reports of, like, humanitarian losses and, like... With food trade cut down, people are dying on Diogenes, and <clears throat> then he brings up the reports from the rebels, and like it shows men with like assault rifles attacking a convoy of uh, marines with like laser rifles, and uh, there's just so many of these rebels that they like overtake the marines, and like now the rebels are all like, yeah, we've got laser rifles, stuff like that, basically. Imagine footage from, like, any ISIS video, and then just replace it with, like, um, ethnic, like, Mexican-Japanese guys. Uh, Arthur, what does the, um, planet look like? Is it, like, desert? Like, what it's, is it? It's a desert world. So, so why would they have Reyes, laser rifles Reyes there? Reyes is, uh, a hacienda world. Yeah. It's kind of like a idealized version of Mexico that was also settled by a minority population of uh, Japanese expatriates. So, um, I want to I want to point out to everyone that is like, well, those Marines they're pretty fucking stupid because they brought laser rifles to a desert planet. That's just stupid. Why would people do that? The admiral turns and looks at Jefferson and is like, Admiral, are you done? We're yeah, Jefferson, are you done? <laughs> 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 I look 
confusedly at the Admiral as I'm looking confusedly into my webcam. <laughs> I think Arthur He's called like, the wrong name. So, I, I think, no, I said exactly the right name. Don't. <laughs> I think he's basically written off Mako as being a fucking idiot. Well, <laughs> really? It's just, laser rifles on a desert world? Yes. Yeah, it's not and, like they're Fremen with laser shields and you'll cause an atomic explosion if you shoot them. Arthur, if you read the manual, it does say that laser guns have a very hard chance to hit when there's particle elements in the air like sand. But this is an idealized Mexico. Hmm. It's not like it's a literal <laughs> desert. As I oh, mentioned, it's a lush <laughs> hacienda world. I don't know what that is. And you said desert planet. Hacienda! I'm like, oh. I don't know what that is. That's house in Spanish. It's a ranch. Sir, isn't he Canadian? We just lost Dom. Bye, Dom. Um, he nice doesn't know these things. We, Dom <laughs> has the Dan effect. As soon as he talks, he immediately disconnects. Yep. Yes. Yep. Starting off so well. <laughs> uh, please, I'm just here to heal people. So. Admiral, what would you like us to do with these rebels with uh, lasers? So he brings up like two. He he erases all the other images with like screen wipe, and he brings up the ship that you, they're currently repainting for you, your shuttle. Yeah, that that has a really sick looking shark grid on the front of it. Ooh. And this is this looks like uh, a boxy. It's the Imperial Lambda class shuttle from Star Wars, but without the dumb fins. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. So it's literally just like a box. Okay. And then now, uh, on the other one, it's like yeah. a target drop zone from the planet. The planet is going to take you two days by shuttle to get to, mm. and then they're going to put you down. And he starts going over the briefing. He's like, "This is." Uh, Right here, this is base Tachondrius. We're going to drop you here. Now, from what I understand, the base is currently offline. We need to make sure it doesn't fall into the hands of the rebels. If they manage to capture this particular base, they can use it as a resupply point to launch deeper strikes on the capital city. However, we don't have the troops <clears throat> or reserves to take it. So, as your final mission, we're hiring you to do this. Now, I, I think a there's a, a couple of resources in the area we can help you to get the base back online, get it functional. I understand you've recently hired someone who isn't a moron. I look around at Jefferson, I look at... What's your character's code again? Sorry. I look up, it's like... I take that. You can just call sir. me Vaughn. Ah, uh, Vaughn? Okay. And I look over at Vaughn, I'm like... I assume he's talking about you. I mean, but he... He he replied to an ad that wasn't for R and D, you know, re uh, rescue and destroy. He was actually thinking it was for research and development. So I don't know if that really counts him. And I know you're not talking about me because Admiral you know, Grips like, of course it means uh, rescue and destroy. That's pretty yeah, standard terminology. Exactly. I mean, this guy came here thinking it was for research and development. Yeah, if it, if if the ad I had put out, had Mako put out for us was for research and development, I would have had an ad put out for research and development. Exactly, not res rescue and destroy. Mako's a Mako's a military man. He he understands. Yeah, I have. Dave is this culture, way to me, right? I, yeah, I have culture military. All right, I know yeah. these things. <laughs> uh, culture military oh. isn't a skill. I know, it should be, though. It totally should be. We're, Actually, we're house-adding it in tomorrow for that campaign. Oh, we are? Fucking yeah. sweet. I might you know what the cool thing about that say, campaign have culture is? Culture World and Culture Spacer. No one told me R&D was research, or, uh, Rescue and Destroy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a Rusina thing. You wouldn't understand. Yeah, Clearly. you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Those Rusinas, Clearly. they're fucking crazy. Uh, I have a question for you, if you don't mind me asking. The, the Admiral's like, sure, I'm just in the middle of a highly sensitive operational briefing for a military strike. Go ahead. Well, no, no, you started <laughs> talking about how stupid we were. I just figured you were done. Um, <laughs> Jefferson has his, has his data slab out, and he's taking... <laughs> oh, we lost Jim again. <laughs> what is with Skype tonight? Holy I don't know, fuck. it's been pretty bad. Um, so... I, I asked him, I was like, 
Uh, if you're only going to send us, I, that's understandable. We're expendable. That's fine. That's what we do. Yes. But I have a, a, a question about resources, and uh, we need to be a little bit more well-equipped if we're going to be dealing with insurgents. In it's the like we literally have nothing to offer you. This is a highly critical military base that we need you to take, and we're sending four people to do the job of a company of trained soldiers. Yes, and and <laughs> we we are um, certainly capable of, of fulfilling the job. You were saying something about resources in the area that might help us on the mission. So <clears throat> he pulls up a map of the area for you. Okay. You guys, you can see that area nope. now. Yeah. And I'm gonna zoom out for the folks. Damn, it's a big map. Yep. This is the compound. It is. He's so he starts going over like each of the features of this particular compound. He's like, as you'll notice on the walls there, you can find automatic weaponized turrets. Unfortunately, none of them are working currently. There's not enough power being generated inside the power station. It must be all the sand that's floating around. As there is no sand on this part of the continent. The soil You is... said it was a desert planet. <laughs> Planets can only have one affinity. We know this from Star Wars. That is a fictional... I'm sorry, a non-fictional <sighs> educational series. It's like Star Wars happened 1,200 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, that's that's too good, Arthur. That was the best response I've ever heard. <laughs> that, not just, just that. Like, straight face. <laughs> we think that if you manage to get the power station back online, you could either power one of the turrets or get the power generation back on in the barracks and get the radio and armory open. Radio and armory. That's Should very you important. Have do you have any idea what's in the armory? Well, you can probably find, find a platoon-sized amount of weapons. They're going to have training ammo. So, And then he like explains it out to you that they have reduced ballistic characteristics. In the end, uh, any weapons or ammo you find there are going to impart a minus one to hit. Uh, minus uh, Admiral, damage. sir, are we <laughs> allowed to uh, reconnoiter, uh, re a requisition... Any equipment that we find in the barracks for personal use? You can use it for as long as this mission continues. You'll need to return all gear afterwards, so make sure you keep appropriate records. Certainly. Yeah, unless I got a notepad document, right? Or a post any, or something? Any chance they might have a suit of power armor in there? No. Okay. Speaking about power armor, can we get access to the tech level 4 scientific division again? He says, no. The whole division is currently working on keeping the planet from exploding because the rebels are attacking the capital city. I don't know if four guys twice. managed to take down one guy. I mean, you guys seem to be pretty... Yeah, I don't want to call uh, issue to how competent you are as uh, So people. he, like, starts calling up images of, like, grav tanks shooting civilians at the edge of uh, the capital spaceport. And, like, a bunch of grungy-looking rebels wearing, like, you know, space helmets and, like, high-tech space gear, like, show up with these, like, 1980s-style AK-47s and are, like, taking people hostage in the spaceport. He's like, we've got some things to worry about. <clears throat> all right, fair enough. You, you can handle all that political nonsense. He's like, we'll yeah, man, it was a really bad faction turn for us. February that's, that's is not really, a good month. <laughs> yeah. Faction turn is uh, space talk for the shit that hits the fan. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm not familiar with this term, faction turn. He says, don't worry, that's fourth wall meta stuff. Don't worry about it. You want to understand, Jefferson. You're not a military man. <laughs> so, it's true. He continues to talk about the compound. He says, the landing pad, basically just a patch of metallicized uh, dirt. You put the shuttle down there, we'll be dropping you in via rope. Vehicle hangar, we think there might be a load lifter in there, but there won't be any other vehicles. You might be able to find some scrap metal of some kind. Not sure. 
What about uh, evacuation or if we need to bail out of this mission? So he sends you some protocols. He's like, if it gets really bad, you can call up this number and he gives you like a IP address. 1-800-GET-ME-THE-FUCK-OUT-OF-HERE. No, it's like a 16-digit IP address. No. This is the future. Jefferson, I order you to take this to memory. Everything's... <laughs> Jefferson He's like, still has you could just store it in your data pads. You all have compads right in front of you. What happens if the enemy gets it? Well, he, he's just like, <laughs> if the enemy gets inside the perimeter, you're probably all dead. And if they call us, we're just going to ignore them. Uh, that IP address was, uh, was, was longer than 16 digits. Uh, Want to hear and get me the fuck out of here? Is it... It's 16 digits. It's literally like one 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 nine. Of course, we lost Jim again. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I think Jim's back. Is his is his tilting? Well, I don't see any problems with this. I mean, how much are you paying us aside from the the ship? We got any gain for this? We weren't intending to pay you anything for this. Okay, so if we fuck it up, you don't have any problems then. It's like, if you fuck it up, you'll be dead. Exactly. I mean, you got to give us incentive, man. The incentive is that if you don't complete the mission, there won't be a government, and you won't get your ship. Oh, that is a problem. <laughs> hmm. I mean, He's I saw that like, job. I was massaging his temples now, and just uh, like uh, I was like an Alka Seltzer uh, temple. Admiral. Their Admiral. Tablet. Just like <laughs> to your to your incredible credit, sir. Um, credible credit, yes. Incredible credit. That 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 paint Most job. Incredible. That that paint job you put on the ship. Was, yeah, it's uh, worth uh, pointing uh, out the moment that Mako saw that. I don't know if you've ever watched Archer in the most recent versions when they get an erection, you can hear it through the leather pants. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's exactly what happens. So. <clears throat> Uh, is I there think at this point, the admiral just has trouble taking any the... of you seriously, except uh, maybe Brother Doxai and Von Aker. Uh, admiral, I have an actual serious additional question for you. Uh, I, I think he's probably like a second Alka-Seltzer tablet now. Is like The sure. enemy forces. Yes. Do we know the troop strength approximately of we the We know enemy? how many there are in the area now. We don't know how many there'll be in two days. Okay. Why don't we just go now, then? What the fuck? We will go now. It takes two days to get there. That's busy. What is the current what? troop strength? The current troop strength is at least 18 men. They have one tech level 3 helicopter with some sort of weapon inside. We haven't been able to get satellite imagery on it from a top-down perspective, so we're not sure what's inside of it. <clears throat> and they may have some sort of grav vehicle. Not a grav tank. But certainly some sort of uh, truck. I think he probably says like technical or something. You know, like um, you know how modern day we have technicals which are like pickup trucks with machine guns on the back of them. This <laughs> is like fit, the uh, space version of yep. that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think we've got a, a, a starting point here, Admiral. We'll uh, we'll definitely uh, uh. He's like, I'm still not done briefing. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Yes. Why did you let us interrupt you? I think he gets a third alka <laughs> <laughs> Admiral, I'd just like to go back to uh, the power plant situation. You said the possibilities are getting it back online, but it will only power either the armory or the laser, correct? Well, the automatic weapon turrets aren't aren't lasers, they're actually heavy machine guns. Okay, so... So he's like, yes, right. I believe if you repair the generator, you can get basic functionality back online. There's some sort of merchant convoy exiting the city. In two days' time, they should be in the area. You might be able to negotiate with them for parts. Now, if there's a load lifter in the vehicle bay, you could hook it up to the power grid to give it some spike energy... But you wouldn't be able to use the load lifter for moving things or as a vehicle. I, uh, 
believe that with your assistance, uh, 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 shit, Jeff, what's your character's name again? On. It's on the roll 20, man. It's down at the bottom. Oh, okay, sorry. I had notepad open. We're so. supposed to be professionals here. Hey. That's it. Yeah. I'm going drinking. Admiral, find me when it's time to jump. Uh, Von Aker. He's like, please, no, you seem like the only competent member of the group so far. Von Aker. You, can, your... you can find me at the bar. I I, I can't take this. I, like... I grab him by the shoulder as he goes to leave. Von Aker, um, with your assistance... I, I kind of we... crumple into you. <laughs> Get oh. so weak. Yes. <laughs> So, just for everyone playing at home, actually, Jeff got a one on his HP. I'm actually rather strong, but have zero constitution. It's like the guy who took steroids against his doctor's recommendations. Yeah. I uh, believe with your assistance, we could collaborate and, and, and assuredly get this power situation back online. And Jefferson, be... he's our employee. He has to do what he says. Right, that's why I said with his assistance, I'll be able to get the power back online. We pay him. We, he doesn't need to assist us. He just does what we say. Well, There's right. pay involved? You'll yes. be paid your due one-fifth of the, uh, one-fifth share. I only see four of us. He's there, literally the like, <laughs> the Admiral's like, there's nothing, you're not being paid for this mission. <laughs> I thought this was mission Admiral, three. Though. We're gonna take everything from the from the place, and we're gonna shell Again, it to the market. He's like, what? I already no, told you. you no, we're not, sign. Admiral. I assure you, we're not. I put my. I try to do one of these. Go and him stop talking. Uh, oh, uh, we don't. We don't want to tell him. Okay, I got it. Got we it. are <laughs> definitely going to take a, a a rigorous inventory. I will give you an itemized list. Uh, with with everything that we have inventoried, uh, as soon as we deal with the uh, Admiral, what is your Google Google username, Google Space username, so that we can add you to the inventory list we make on the document section? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put it in my Space Google Sheets. He's like, I will send you my Space Google public identity. Fantastic. <sighs> Not. So he sent you like. Vice Admiral Grip at Archon's Grip dot Archon Grip. Do, do we have a u email address like that? That's pretty rad. Uh, yes, you have an I email address. It's I want Mako. at Archon Group dot org. Oh, oh, my camera dot org. I like how they still have a dot org functionality 3200 years. <laughs> People stopped using it when they realized they could get any dot whatever at all. Those domains became pretty available after a while. <laughs> That's how I scooped up. Our, oh yeah, I scooped it up for a couple cents. Yeah, cents. I'm a hacker. I'm like a we literally guy. bought it from the Archon's grip because they accidentally put a mistake in there. Absolutely. <laughs> but you bought the .dot org. Yeah. From the Archon's grip. Okay. Yep. But, like you know how companies would buy up everything that sounds similar. Yeah. And then they just never use it, so we we scooped it up. So you're now Mako at archonsgroup.org. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just Archon Group. There's no apostrophe S. Oh, so. of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. But right. yes, he's got, he, he does own, though he constantly forgets, Mako at archongroup.org. So he's still like... I still use my Hotmail address. Massaging <laughs> his, like, the bridge of his nose. I, I think that you probably see, like, his face is getting red with just, like, blood pressure going up. He's like... Okay, listen. The merchant convoy is going to be in the area. They may have some parts for you. If you're looking for additional support, you're authorized on behalf of the Reyes government and the Church of the New Catholic Saints to deputize anyone in the area. I know make that there's make a, note, a... Make a note, Jefferson. Oh, make a note. He gets the data pad out immediately and starts <laughs> typing away again. Deputize. I like that. <laughs> There's a criminal gang in the area. There are a bunch of drav bikers. The, the entire... The entire time I've had the grav pad out and have been taking notes. Yeah, of course. He's like, they're called the Cowboy Zoku. A bunch of Japanese, you know, thugs. He like calls up their Facebook, space Facebook page, space book page? Facebook. Space book page. And they're I... doing like the... Th this is a real thing. They're doing the thug squatting position. 
They all you mean like, you mean like what is a whole what gang like... of people who look like they're about to take a poop? <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. I got a perfect picture for this. Continue. It's a real thing. You can look it up. It's called the thug squatting position, the big thing in Japan right now. So it's like a whole group of dudes squatting, looking like they're about to poop in front of their grab cycles that are all like. You know, they've got, like, skulls on them and flames, and then, like, one of them's got a cross. <clears throat> and please. He... Please tell me you can find me a picture of the thug squatting position. <laughs> Let's keep keep on topic here. Yeah. He's like, there's also a cadet unit of soldiers in the area. Unfortunately, we lost radio contact with them after they entered uh, nearby forest. The area is rife with uh, metallicized ore. <clears throat> we may have lost their signal. If you're able to get the radio in the barracks working and then boost the signal, you might be able to contact them and lead them to your position. Finally, so... there's some government functionaries that will be in the area. <clears throat> Members of the new Roman Catholic Saints. It would be useful if you could get them inside the compound. They're from the agricultural division of the government. Get government agents inside compound. Alright. This is riveting stuff. Admiral. Uh, CO for the CO for the cadets. Also last known radio op. Yeah, he gives you their handle. It's like Screamer 1 of, like, Screamer Patrol. And the commanding officer is Midshipman Chambers. Midshipman Chambers? All right. I found a source for the pooping position. There you go. And Midshipman Chambers is with the... Oh, oh. my God. Yes, oh, that, that, that would uh, that would be the CO, a.k.a. commanding officer. He's with the Church of the New Saints guys, or a different group? No, he's no with this the, is with the cadets. Ah. Yeah. I, that's amazing. Alright, I found a better one. Um, and let me just open this one to see if it's better. Okay, this one is what I was thinking about the moment you said it. Called Unko Zawari, the poop sitting. <laughs> Same difference. Ah! Henley, <laughs> you bastard! So bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog. That's what I was thinking of when you said that. <laughs> oh, God, Camera Siren just said I need to find the Pathfinder rules for Tango mating rituals. <laughs> No, first <laughs> off, there isn't any rules for that. And second off, no. Second off, no. I <laughs> refuse. That is uncalled for, sir. <laughs> you can keep Tango oh, yeah. mating rituals and they can all happen off screen. We're not going to have the Princess Leia <laughs> wedding. <clears throat> <laughs> that picture's so awesome. Yeah, yeah no, right? Stop it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So um, the admiral is like see looking at all of you like going through this Facebook page and and like pulling up pictures of these thugs that are all squatting. <laughs> is, is it like he accidentally slips in one of his kids <laughs> somewhere in there as well? And no, like, I think oh, that's I, very nice. <laughs> I think you're like going through the Facebook page and it's got like similar similar links. And, like, you just added him as a friend, and, like, you can see that there's a similar picture underneath his friend status. Yeah. Of, like, his son. And he's just like, all right, do you have any other questions that relate to what we're doing right now? Uh, if yeah, it comes I down have. to it, and it looks like we're going to have, if we're going to lose control of the base... Um, Call that number. One, one, do, one. No, no, I, I have the number. I have the IP address here in my data slab. My question is, if we're going to have to evacuate, should we destroy the base so it can't be taken by the rebels when we do so? He's like, absolutely. Use whatever you need to to blow up the base. 
Do you happen to have a bomb? No. We have I don't know if you know this, it. Admiral, but it's actually really hard to blow up an entire base. Uh, I like to say we do have a bomb. We defused it. Uh, it was no, on the shuttle that you don't own. I think we should own that shuttle. 